Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MC and Z on Twitter. And I wanted to talk to you about Java latency and specifically how we can detect Java latency using Java Flight Recorder and JDK Mission Control. And furthermore, how we can battle that Java latency with a few little performance enhancements to our Java code. I want to talk a little bit about Java latencies and troubleshooting Java latencies with Java Mission Control and Java Flight Recorder. I've got a little application here that has a logger in it. Uh, the class is named Latencies. It's from uh, Marcus Hertz's suite of examples for Java Mission Control. It's got a little main method here, and I'm going to run this main method. And as I run this main method, I'm going to have Java Flight Recorder maintain metrics on what's going on. So I right click, I say run as a Java application with auto record enabled. And all of a sudden this will go through and start recording some work as these different Java threads start doing some processing. Now just mentioning the auto launch, I do have this file called latencies auto record launch. And there's a string attribute here for VM arguments. And all we've done is set flight recorder up and specified that the flight recorder would start two seconds after the application starts and would go on for 60 seconds. That's how we actually kick flight recorder off right away as soon as the application starts. Well, I think it's been running long enough. I'm going to click enter here to terminate the program. That will create a flight recorder recording in this recordings folder. I think that's saying the word recordings long enough. I do a little refresh there open up the latencies file, Java mission control will process the Java flight recorder recording. And you can see right here, it's identified a problem. Uh, Java blocking threads in the application were blocked on locks for a total of 36 seconds, but I don't even think it was running that long. The most blocking monitor class was logger. So it looks like we know where our problem is. We know where the offending class is. But even though we might know right away, let's go take a look and see what is happening here. Dig a little bit deeper in our application. And you can see CPU usage, CPU usage was pretty high, but that just means when one thread is blocked, another thread is going. So that's not necessarily great. We can see the worker run there. We did get a message saying that we had problems with locks. So it would make sense to go look at lock instances here. And you can see definitely there were a number of locks. It looks like as we were trying to get that uh, monitor address, we ended up with hundreds and hundreds of different blocks happening for uh, quite a bit of time. Like we can even come down here and see that, you know what, the method that was causing this problem was that logger method. So I think we've identified the problem. We should be able to go into logger, look at that log method, and you can see it's synchronized. Synchronized methods in Java always have a performance hit. I don't think we need to synchronize access to the log method. So I'm going to comment out synchronize and I'm going to start this application again. But I do want to do a visualization of these threads and get a good visualization of the blocking. I'm back in the Java application tab of Java Mission Control. And I'm going to look at all these worker threads and I'm going to highlight them. And as I highlight them, you'll see this salmon color come up in the display of how these are running. And each of these little salmon colors here are problems with the, uh, are problems with locks happening in our code. So every time um, that salmon color appears, we're getting some form of blockage and it, we may have only one thread running at a time if everybody else is blocked trying to gain access to that method. Um, and so that's what our visually what our application looks like. And this is what's causing all of the latency, that salmon color in there. Okay, well, why don't we run the application again now that I've taken that synchronized keyword out. I'm going to change the launch a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add the number two to the name latency. And so now when this runs, I'll get a second file created and we'll be able to take a look at that second file side by side with the first file. So I go back to latencies.java, run the Java latencies troubleshooting example, use the auto record launch for Eclipse and allow this to just run for a minute or two. And I know I said a minute or two, but that's enough for me. So I'm gonna click enter over here I'll go back to the package explorer. I noticed that in recordings, nothing's there, but when I click refresh, I get latency two. 
and this will open up. And remember before when we first did our monitoring, the analysis said there was a lot of Java blocking going on. If we actually take a look at the new file, you notice that it doesn't say that anymore. It says oh, there was a couple of errors in there. I think that was just when I stopped the program. So I got some background processes running and we were using the CPU quite a bit. So high JVM CPU load, but I don't think that's an issue. Uh, we got lots of threads running and they're doing lots of processing. The other thing that's neat is just going into, well, we can look lock instances. So we don't have anything showing up on the locks anymore. But if we go into the Java application, if you do that color coding of all of the different threads that are running, you'll notice that we don't have any of that salmon color anymore. So previously, we had all of that salmon. Let's bring that up. You can see salmon, 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 salmon. It's like, it's like a river in the fall. Um, over here, we don't have any of that salmon color. So we're doing processing, we've got our worker. We're doing processing, we've got our worker. Um, nothing like we had over here with all of these blocks. And there you go. That's how you can identify Java latency issues with Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control. And that's how you can then go in, troubleshoot, change your code, reevaluate, and hopefully you will fix your Java performance and latency problems. And there you go. That's how you battle Java latency in your applications with Java Flight Recorder and JDK Mission Control. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We got lots of great tutorials on Java Mission Control, Java Performance, Java Troubleshooting, Enterprise Software Development in general, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.